Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome back to my playthrough of Paranormal Syndrome. So we're into uh, Chapter 4, I think. Two days later, since that day, there have been no signs of any paranormal events happening with Mikoto. We're right into it this time. Whether it's the end of the paranormal events or merely a brief calm, that we do not know. The only thing that can be said is that the root of the problem has not been resolved at all. We, who have decided that it would be dangerous to just leave her as is, have been continuously without break, continuing investigation into the paranormal syndrome occurring with Himeno Mikoto. So then, nothing has happened since then. But have we had any clues for our investigation? Oh, I've summarized all our material. I've also had no problems. Did you? Then quickly report it to me, please. Before that, Himuru, has anything changed with her since then? Ah, no particular problems. Since that day, we've had a setup to keep watch for 24 hours. Nothing is unusual as of now. Does this mean that the paranormal events have come to an end? What's scary is how we can't quite say that yet. Just to be sure, I made a request to a famous medium, but it was obliquely rejected unilaterally. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. That guy must have been bogus. Whatever the case, the Kajiro history that I investigated was even more terrible than I imagined. What do you mean? Will you tell us in detail? Well, I hope so, because it's a cutscene and I need to know exactly what I'm working with. To get to the point of what Shuta is saying, Kajiro family ancestors seem to have come to Japan in the early ages and were Fui, witch doctors. We? Okay. In other words, a shaman family, and has hundreds of years of history. What do you mean? The Kajiro family, in the past, has passed on several hidden arts to their descendants as the family's techniques, until a certain era. But it seems that on the boundary of 400 years ago, this suddenly ended, just like that. The Kajiro's secret arts, too, and their history as shaman. And so it is very likely that Kajiro Yuka's father, the present head of the family, wouldn't know about this either. They didn't know the history of their own family? Of course he wouldn't know about it. In the first place, even digging up just this is still a great find. How did you find out the history that even Kajiro's father wouldn't know? As I told to you before, I've contacted people in various places in order to investigate into the Kajiro family. And I found out something unexpected. The Kijiro who are here seem to have moved here from a certain countryside. It appears that there exists an old Kajiro home. And with that, I ran into Kajiro Yuka's grandmother who lives in the old Kajiro home. An old woman named Kajiro Iyu. Iyu. From that old lady, did you learn about the Kajiro's roots? Well, yeah. However, it's a history she hasn't even told her own descendants about. More importantly, when that old woman was young, she merely heard it from her grandfather and didn't seem to think it very inordinate. I see. And so, what should I say, then? The Kajiro family had power as shaman. A descendant, Kajiro Yuka, performed the shamanism known as Hitori Kakurenbo, and thus summoned a terribly big paranormal phenomena, and thus the truth behind this paranormal event, paranormal syndrome. Exactly! Against the background that this paranormal phenomena has swallow, swollen up into something so big, for it to be related to the Kajiro blood. But one question remains. As opposed to this abnormal paranormal event happening with Makoto-kun, why was she able to slip through pretty much without incident? It appears that, according to what I've investigated, Amino Makoto also came from a shaman family. So both have shamanism in their blood. Alright. What? 
Several hundred years ago, there was a family in the Tsukushi region. As famous shamans, successive generations have inherited the family's secret arts. But they couldn't do what shamans generally do. It was mainly a kind for making prayers and sealing away illnesses. However, suddenly, 400 years ago, that history was buried in darkness. It's the same as the Kajiro family history. The first one I thought posed a question... Uh, the first one I thought posed a question was her. That day before, in that mass insanity incident on, of several tens of people at Kikugawa, Kikugawa, I felt uneasy with how only she remained alive. Considering her experiences, one would have died by now. But if the blood in Himino Mukoto had a calming effect on the paranormal, that would explain something. And thus, like the Kajiro family, she also didn't know about her own family's history. Kajiro and Himeno. I don't know what kind of connection these two have, but there is an unmistakably a great power at work. And somehow, blew up to something outrageously enormous. Ah. Uh, is it really unmanageable for us? Whether we can manage it or not, it is not the point. We simply must. Will you be telling this to her? Ah, uh, I'll go tell her. There's no need for that. I've been spying on you, completely and totally anonymously, for two days straight, just to overhear this conversation. Makoto-kun. I heard everything about me and about Yuka. Makoto-chan. Then, what will you do? The connections of the past can't be run away from. I will not run away anymore. I will no longer hesitate. I, by my own will, will confront this incident. Because I'm clearly not cut out for higher education or anything requiring reading any sort of skilled book. Makoto-kun. I can feel it. All the way on the other side, from the west. Could that be the old Kajiro home? I don't know. I can only feel it. I will need to put an end to this. I will need to sever it. If my past is the root of everything... Understood. Let's get out the car. Tsuyoshi, please guide us on the road. Okay. And thus this tale moves towards its final stage. Oh yeah, 80s driving music. There, this one later became known in urban legend as the Hisaruki. That time, I thought I was to die. Well, that's why I'm an occult journalist now. Ha ha. She found that funny? Hey, Tsuyoshi, is it alright to go straight there? Ah, it's no problem. It's only one hour left on this road. Speaking of which, it was quite a close call for you at, the, at that time too, wasn't it? Hey, a Kappa incident. Please, at least let me rest in the car. So, road trip time. I presume we're at the Hir the uh, Hiroshi estate. The day has gotten quite dark already. And I know I probably totally ruined that name. Seems so, but have you already gotten in contact with the old woman here? 
Ah, uh, no problem. I'll explain it to her properly. Well, if it doesn't seem like we'll be getting back today, let's have her stay with us. Have us stay over. After all, it is a Ryokan, a Japanese inn, right? One that purveys to those big shots. Oh, I need to catch up with him. Run along, run along, catch up. Let's see. Ryokan Kajiro. Ah, uh, yeah, see, I completely fucked that name up. I have no idea why I called it Hiroshi Kajiro. First timers are refused without introduction from a regular customer. So it's by invitation only. Anything out here I need to worry about? Ah, let's just get back to the game. Maybe I should have saved the game. Uh oh, maybe I should have saved the game. Himuru Hitoshi. It is the one who contacted you earlier, Himuru Hitoshi. Welcome. It must have been some effort coming from afar. Yeah, now you see why I don't usually do the voices. Concerning that incident with your son a few days back, my deepest condolences. Just now, we're doing our best to investigate this. In order for us to finish our investigation of the report, I have... In order for us to finish our investigative report, I have come to inquire here again. That would be fine. As long as my grandchild is still alive. As I have contacted you earlier, this incident has gotten considerably complicated. In order for us to resolve this incident faster, we would like to look through some documents and books related to this. Do as you wish. Please investigate as much as you please. If it would be convenient for you, I would not mind you all staying over without compensation. Awesome, free in stay. Really, Kajiro's Bashan? You may know this already, but visitors to this Ryokan are quite unusual. First of all, this is in the mountain recesses, away from human habitation, and since we have always refused television and magazine journalists, most people do not know about us. I have managed this place carefree for many years. Sometime, it's become a purveyor to those big shots in a secret region known to the ones in the know. To that extent, there are more or less some things that the police would have to shut their eyes to. That would be no problem. Whatever we do, we won't go there. Um, what are you talking about? In other words, this is a place where old men who have time and money come to play. You don't need to know too much about this. All right, it seems all okay. The day has already gotten dark. Let's accept this that old lady's offer and stay for an evening. All right, woo. Early tomorrow morning, We'll be going back to the police station, so it's only for tonight. Let's finish our investigation today. Acknowledged. Is it just me, or the wording seem to be getting worse? Or the blah, blah, blah. is it just me, or is the wording seeming to get worse? Game saved. Let's look around front before we go back. Alright, whole lot of nothing. Let's go inside then. Are you Himenoko? Are you Himeno Mikoto chan? Ah, uh, yes. It seems you have come across some troubles. There isn't really anything here, but take it easy. Thank you for your help today. And off inside we go. Chapter 4. No Mask.
It seems that today is our reservation. A shoebox, it seems. A light, it seems. What a beautiful picture. My heart feels calmer when I look at this. A beautiful landscape has been painted. It's quite an amazingly gorgeous place. Got all kinds of side rooms. Well, it is an inn after all. Is there like a hot springs in the back or something? I don't know. Locked. Let's start at the front and then go to the back. We got the bathroom. Why did he go to a? Oh, she used the toilet. Okay. Well, I guess she's been in the car for a long time. Yeah, it seems like a hand washing sink, but you're supposed to wash your hands. Oh well. All right. How I need to do? Let's take a look around here. The hanging scroll has been hung here. Golden colored folding screens. Very elegant. A folding screen. It's quite the place to calm, isn't it? I guess this is, uh, inside the Fus Fusuma is a closet, it seems. An expensive vase has been put here. It's a futon inside. Nothing inside, it seems. Well, if this is leads to an area that's oh, there's there's a couple doors back here. I remember. All locked, I guess. That wasn't locked. Oh, here's a, the garden. It's on the interior. Oh man, this place is huge. It's gonna take me a while to explore this. Oh, there's all the people I know. Just head on down. Let's start the horror. Cherry blossom garden. Beer water is flowing. Makoto. Haru-chan? Ah, Oni-chan, why are you here? That's what I should be saying. Well, I, just for now, have been put in care of this home. I see. Oni-chan, come play sometime. So that's what's her face's little sister, I guess, the one that was missing in that first horror show of a of a uh, encounter. Siti Garba, what a happy looking face you're making. She is Kajiru Haruka. She is the third survivor of the paranormal incident at the Kajiro home. Eh? We didn't tell you, but in actuality, at that time, this girl was also at the Kajiro home. It seems like she hid in the tatami room's closet. It seems like she fell asleep like that. Was that so? We told that girl about everything. And from here on, please be of support to that child. Yes. So she was there, hidden in a closet. Which I probably tried to open a bunch of times. Locked. Locked. And there's another uh, room to. There's another uh, branch to this place, too. Ah, this leads back here. Ah, there's a kitchen. Washroom. It's been neatly cleaned. Gulp. Meat. 
Welcome. Right now we are still preparing food, so please wait a little. So now I feel like I'm wanting to cook. Ah, oh, tons of things inside. High grade raw ingredients. Ah, caviar. Frozen marine products are being preserved here. Frozen seafood. Yeah. Well, not necessarily, because marine products can also encompass things like, you know, seaweed and other things that the Japanese tend to eat. I'd like for them to be sorted and separated in my home, too. Ah, Makoto-chan. Sorry, we are still preparing. There's still be some time until the food is prepared, so try going to the annex. Please, I'm handing this to you. Obtain the annex key. I have no idea where the annex is. All kinds of shit here. That's nice. Alright. Well, I guess I can uh, go back to the uh, the main area and try looking around some. I'm gonna... I'm gonna look in here first. Storeroom. Alcohol. Bags of rice. Each one here definitely costs several tens of thousands of yen. Which is what, a couple, several hundred bucks, maybe? Tens of thousands. It's what, roughly about a hundred yen for, yeah, this is a couple hundred bucks then. I class porcelain has been put here. Clayton, a necessarily large ryokan. It appears that our goal is not here, but in the annex. In that place lies tons of books, too many for that old lady to manage. It's actually quite an enjoyment. Okay. Well, let's uh, look for the library then, I guess that's what the annex is. Hmm. Well, there it goes, it opened. I still haven't explored this whole place. Ah, it's a separate building entirely. Nothing of particular concern here. An armor has been put here. Wow, this place is huge! That guy had it right when he was talking about an unnecessarily large Ryokan. Holy crap. This one looks cute. Well, put, put him on! Okay. That is odd. So, oh, here we go. Here's the uh, library. An amazing number of books. Lined with documents about the Kajiro family. Lined with documents about fol folkloristics. It was also at Yuka's home, wasn't it? These kinds of books. Even when I look at them, they won't really enter my brain really well. See what I mean? I'm not being cruel. This girl knows her limits. Lined with the documents about sorcery and the secret arts. I mean, if you're going to be a slivering idiot, at least know your limits. I mean, she's in a horror game. She has to be kind of an idiot. Yuka's family lineage. For this, is, for there to be, is this kind of history. For there to be this kind of history, that is. Even with just these documents, what the heck is lineage, Yuka's lineage about? Line with documents about the Zero family. Lined with books about Shinto and Onmyodo. Hey, they also incorporated Onmyodo? The sorcery of the Kajiro, that is. So are there several of these places? Oh, there's a second room. I'm just going all over the place, aren't I? This place is fucking huge. I'm gonna get so lost in here. Okay, what's this? 
Something here. Found the cellar key. Find with books for children. Man, this place is a special kind of humongous. A light. Oh, that's a Buddhist altar room. It's so big. That's what she said. That's literally what she said. Come on, give me something interesting. A Kentoku mask has been put here. A Tenjin mask has been hung here. A Zhao mask has been hung here. An Aobaku mask has been hung here. A Baoku mask has been hung here. And I have no idea how to pronounce this shit. An Akaoni mask has been hung here. A Shoujo mask has been hung here. Well, the name of this chapter does have a mask. A no mask, so... Uh, an old man mask has been hung here. Anuba mask has been hung here. A Kohimi mask has been hung here. A Yesiona mask has been hung here. A Hanya mask has been hung here. A Wakaona mask has been hung here. And a Tenko mask has been hung here. It's being held shut by an invisible. Whoa, wait, 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 what? What the fuck, man? What the hell? There's a mask after me. Run the fuck away! What am I supposed to do? I have no idea how to escape this thing. What the hell? Do I lead it back to the others? No! Whoa, at least this thing's moving slow. Holy crap. Ah! No, I can't. I can't get away from it. There's no repulsion points or anything. Let me lead it back to the others, I guess. Except I am now lost. I knew I would get lost in this place. Holy fuck! That was probably a bad idea. I think this is the way out, though. Come on. Oh, god damn it! Because it reversed! Oh, fucking A. I'm all the way back here. Tell you what, before I go into the, uh, the that other place, I'm going to explore down here uh, and, and finish exploring this, this part of the inn. Going this way first. It seems like Kajiro's Bashan will give us food. I won't be late for doing investigation even if I had just start after that. Nothing of concern. An iron helmet has been put here. A very expensive looking hanging scroll. Light is illuminating. More of the same. Man, there's just room after room of shit in this place. Okay, I think I've explored as much as I can explore. Uh, let me go ahead and, and start back into the uh, annex. Let me go right first. See if these things loop around. A shamisen. Try, play, try playing it a little. Ah, a poem is written here. It's a music room, then. Okay, I, I think I know where I am now. I, I ran into this place uh, when I was trying to get away. Seems like it won't open. Is 
it's locked. And that's locked as well. And that heads up to where I encountered the masks, I think. Okay, this is some place I haven't been to. Nothing inside. Ah, oh, there is a spring back here. Nothing of concern. Outside scenery is overflowing with nature. It's like a bath. Nonsense. Okay, maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure the difference between uh, the various things that you'd find in the Japanese inn, so... Let's go in here this time. Dolls in crimson kimono. How cute. Ah, it's a Kokyoshi doll. Tons of beautiful dolls inside. A big doll inside. Dolls in white kimono also have a good sense of tidiness. It's a room full of dolls. Which, in my estimation, would be way creepier than a room full of masks. But you never know in these places. Bot. Okay. So I'm getting a sense for how big this place is. I've already been through most of these rooms in that case. It's just a matter of knowing which direction you're going. And the fact that that corridor reverses itself is, is bullshit. Huh. Well, here's the trigger. Let's keep. Let's look around here first. It's a mask room. Over there goes back down to the other direction. I haven't been here yet, have I? Oh, yeah, I have. There's only so many places I can go. Let's try leading that mask into the Buddha room, maybe. And then I gotta go find the cellar, wherever it may be. Alright. Here's the mask. Run the fuck away! All right, apparently that didn't help any. Well, let's go back to, uh, you know, back to where all the people were. All right, I remembered that it reversed there. Okay, whoops, I went the wrong way. Fortunately, this thing's slow. I guess it's slower because there's no, no evasion points. Okay. It's not where I need to go. I guess I can uh, make it circle around. Come on, I need to get it past it. Ah, let's head back to the others. Okay, so it's not going to chase me out. Let's go find my investigative friends and see what they can do for me. Ah, everybody's here. Oh, you've come, you've come. Dinner's been prepared, so then let's sit. So you're really just going to sit down and eat. You're not going to tell them that the uh, mask chased you out of that hall. By the way, guys, a big scary mask chased me out of the annex. I'd say it's delicious. The Ryokan atmosphere is great. But isn't it a shame that it's all in the countryside? Kajiro's Bashan. Ah ha ha, thanks. It's definitely as Tsuyoshi says. What about advertising it some more? But then, that's also what those big shots think. They surely have a strong desire to have it for themselves. It's already quite the good luck to have uh, have been able to stop by today. Ah, this is why I hate rich people. They take away everything great. Ah, uh, guys, big mask chasing me. What is it, Mikoto-kun? Are you not hungry? 
Could you perhaps be on a diet? Ouch! That's not what you want to say to a young girl. Here you go. No. Is something the matter? Um, Obasan? In the second floor of the annex, there's a room decorated with masks, right? Uh, yes, there is. Have you already gone into the annex? Then what happened? It went after me. The mask while I was alone. What? And you didn't tell us? You idiot! No wonder you... Okay. Seriously, though, this girl is straight up stupid. Even if she's young. Even if she's young. It was so scary. Really scary. And so I came back here. Another paranormal event? Which mask was it? I know mask. It was a little creepy. You have... Ha have you ever seen that mask move? How could that? Yeah, that's impossible. I've also never heard of it. That kind of story. It seems like the effect of her presence has come about quite fast. What do you mean? Himenokun came here sensing something. If so, it wouldn't be unusual for her to cause yet another paranormal event. So this is, in a certain sense, a chance for us. If her sensitivity is not mistaken, then there's no mistake something explaining these paranormal events up to now is right here. Definitely. Well, what is it, Mikoto-kun? Right now, I don't quite know. The reason why I came here was not... was because I got the feeling I was called. That really was the only thing, so what is happening here and what is here, I have not the slightest idea what they are. Could it be an emergency situation? Yes, perhaps. Uh, an abaki? I... I don't know. Just to be sure, perhaps we should evacuate everyone here at the Ryokan. I don't know what is happening anymore. Also, to prevent a repeat of the Kajiro home incident, we will be of assistance. Perhaps doing so would be for the better. Sorry, I forgot my old woman voice. If something unforeseen were to happen, we would send everyone to somewhere safe. That's what our plan was. Ah, please do so then. Are you guys able to properly protect Mikoto? Mikoto. And uh, seems we're bidding everyone farewell. It seems like we've completed the preparations. Ah. Uh, even when you evacuate to somewhere safe and go down the mountain, you must not come back alone. No, I'll investigate this paranormal phenomena until the end. Don't you know what might happen when you're in the middle of returning? If you say no matter what, you must bring back up. What a disadvantageous role, sheesh. Protecting your own life? How is that disadvantageous? How splendid of you, Tsuyoshi. Really, you're good with words. Later. You must tell me all the details of this incident to the root. Prepare yourself, then. Ah, it's a promise. Then, let's go. Everyone excuse me for getting you all caught up in this. Eh, are you calm right now? Ah, uh, Bachan and the rest of you, leave it to me and I will take you all somewhere safe. It may be hard to believe all of a sudden, but I can s thank you greatly for your consideration. Oni-chan, will you play with me next time? And, um... Yeah. Oh,
And so it looks like we're back into this place. And we're in the next part of Chapter 4. And on that note, I am going to call it. This has been the RPG Crawler with Paranormal Syndrome. If you like what you've seen, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more RPG playthroughs of, playthroughs of various flavors. Until next time, take care, and goodbye.